Hi folks, Mike here from Random Acts of Cooking and I'm going to do some steak balls and a T-bone steak, sous vide and sear. Let me show you. Okay folks, here's what we have. I have a T-bone steak here because it has a bone shaped in a T. I'm going to do this sous vide and I've got, I don't know what these are, they're little balls of meat. I'm pretty sure it's steak. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, got this from a friend uh, who had them frozen. I don't know where he got them off of the back of a pickup or something. Anyway, we're going to season these with one of my favorites. Uh, it's Incredible by Heaven Made Products. I'm going to sprinkle all that on there, get these sealed in the bag, and then go to the sous vide machine. So, anyway, you don't need to watch that. It's just sprinkling this and vacuum sealing. So, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we got our sous vide bath, we got our sous vide machine set up for 125 degrees. So we're going to drop in our uh, little steak balls, seasoned with It's Incredible, and the T-bone steak. I'll put all of those in there. And this is going to go for about, uh, I'm going to say an hour and a half. Then we'll take this out and do a sear on it outside so I'll show you that in a little while we got uh, about an hour and a half so see you later okay we've had these in here for just about an hour and a half actually just a little bit over so anyway let's get these out and go to the next step okay here we go we're gonna pat these dry and then we're gonna go out get the sear box ready I know they don't look that good right now but just wait Okay, we have our Camp Chef sear box set on high, so we should be getting pretty close to 900 degrees. Alright, let's get them on. I'm not getting the results I want, so I'm going to take these off, let them cool for just a little bit, and I'm going to try something with more heat. Okay, I wasn't getting the color that I was hoping to get on that sear box, so what I did is I coated these in butter, because we know butter will burn, and I need something with higher heat, so I'm going to show you. Okay, this has been resting for just maybe about almost 10 minutes. Here's my uh, my steak steak balls, and I can see the way the grain's running is this way. So I'm going to cut across the grain and see what these look on the inside. Ooh, tender. Looks like to be juicy anyway. Right, these all should be about the same, so I'm going to only cut a bite off of one of them. That's the one I'll try there on this T-bone. I think this is going to be a little more done than I would probably prefer uh, by doing the sear box and then the blowtorch, or the flamethrower rather. Oh. Right, let's see what it looks like. Oh. Here. 
That's not too bad. It's probably a medium. That's made my guess anyway. I'm not going to try the tenderloin part because I know this is going to be tender. They're always tender. So I'm going to take a, a slice off of the other side for the little taste test. Okay, let's do a taste test on the steak ball first. Yeah. Okay, here's my test test of the steak ball. I don't know what this thing is called, but okay, steak ball. Oh, that is really good. Really tender. Oh yeah, yeah. I like that. There's another shot of the, uh, the inside of that. Well, that's more of a medium rare, I'm guessing. All right, here's the T-bone steak. It's more of a medium. Wow. <laughs> I'm eating good tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, steak. <laughs> Even though the T-bone is not as rare as I would like, cooking the sous vide with the, uh, the seasoning on it makes it really tender. Keeps in the juices, too, I think. Now, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that the Camp Chef sear box did not do the job I was looking for, but I knew the flamethrower would do the job, and it did. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it cooked it just a teensy bit more than I wanted, so, but it's still a ton of flavor in there. So, all right, we're eating good tonight, folks. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo? Happy 5th of May. See you guys. Bye.